Grace's room. So I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I'm not really a huge pasta fan. I know that sounds really weird coming from a person who's half Italian, but I've just never really been a huge fan of it. Um, but there has been this uh, viral trend on TikTok uh, where you basically boil some pasta, you put some olive oil and some seasoning on it, and then you pop it in the air fryer, and then they turn into like a pasta chip. And I thought that this was so cool because like, I do like chips and I can't believe pasta can be turned into a chip essentially. <laughs> um, so I have four different pastas here I really, that I wanna test this thing with. I have some ribbon pasta, some tubes, I have some bow ties or butterfly pasta, and I also have some gluten-free spiral pasta for those of you that prefer a gluten-free option. So I can't wait to test it all. Um, like I said, the process is basically you just boil some pasta and then you, um, oh sorry, cook some pasta, and then you put some olive oil on it um, and some seasonings, and then you pop it in the air fryer for about maybe 12 minutes, and then they come out really crispy. So hopefully to my non who doesn't watch this because I'm sure she won't be too happy with me air frying pasta. Anyway, um, so the first one that I'm gonna try um, is some with some bow tie pasta. Uh, I think I'm gonna try it with like a pizza topping. This has just got um, some basil and pasta parsley or something in it. Um, and then I've got some oregano and I've also got some bocconcini and olive oil. Anyway, but like I mentioned, the first thing I have to do is actually cook the pasta. Okay, so I have some boiling salted water here um, and now I'm just going to pour my pasta in. Okay, looks like my pasta is all cooked, so I'm just gonna drain it. There we go. All right. That's a lot of pasta. <laughs> I suppose now it's time to actually start seasoning it and stuff. So I've got my olive oil here. It's important that you use some sort of oil because the um, seasonings and stuff need something to stick to. So I'm just gonna pour a good amount. I think that should be enough to start with. Just get a spoon and mix that around. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of this pizza topper on. Um, again, I want to make sure all of the uh, pasta gets evenly coated. So I think I'm just going to start off with that maybe. And then also some oregano. I think that's enough. Um, I can always add some more later if I need to. And now I'm going to use some bocconcini. A lot of people use parmesan in uh, like the other, when they made the pasta chips, but I saw one person use bocconcini and I thought I'd use that because I'm not really a huge Parmesan fan, so I thought that maybe this might be better. I'm interested to see how cheese will turn out um, with the pasta, like will it melt? Or, yeah. Okay, so I just shredded up all the bocconcini, and so now I'm just going to mix it all around. Okay, so I've just mixed the seasoning through. I added a little bit more of it because I like a lot of seasoning, um, but now I think it's ready to pop into the air fryer. So I'm just gonna quickly turn it on. Okay, get crisp. Um, I'm going to set the temperature to 200 degrees um, and then I'm going to put it in for about 12 minutes. I can just kind of open it along the way and check it and stuff. But now it's time to put it in. Go. Okay, hopefully, I'm probably going to have to take it out a couple of times and toss it around so each pasta gets cooked. <laughs> um, but let's turn it off. Now we wait. Okay, so it's been just over six minutes now and I think I'm just gonna put the open up and toss the pasta around a bit. It's like the cheese is sort of melting a little bit in there. There we go. So I thought that maybe while that's frying, um, I should get 
um, start on the next pasta that I'm going to be cooking, which is this ribbon pasta. So I'm going to quickly start boiling it. even attempt trying them. Okay, so I've let these cool down a bit and I think they're ready to try, so I'm just gonna take one from the top. This looks like a piece of cheese, so I wanna have it with that. Okay. Oh, hot. Mm. That's so interesting. <laughs> Probably the pasta can become that crunchy. Sorry, let me finish chewing. Um, as far as the taste, it's a bit boring, but I'm still really fascinated by the actual crunchy pasta. I can't believe it like turned out like that. That is so cool, wow. Um, yes, like I said, it's not the most interesting flavor. Maybe I should have used something like Parmesan, probably has a bit more flavor than Boccancini, but I don't really care because it's so cool. Um, and I don't know, maybe I should have used some more seasoning, but I mean, it's nice. Yeah, like I said, it's a little bit bland. So now I want to try it with um, a different pasta and try some different seasoning and we'll see if it turns out any different. Okay, so my next pasta is all done. Oops, it's probably a little bit too much. I'm just going to put a little bit back. Okay. So for this next um, pasta chip, I want to try a bit more of like a spicy Mexican sort of flavor. So I have her <laughs> spicy Mexican um, seasoning here. Um, also just got some salt, obviously some olive oil and some chili powder. I also have some salsa here. Um, I've seen a lot of people on TikTok, they actually had like a dip to dip the pasta chips into after. So I want to try it with um, salsa because I thought it's very fitting for this. So, I'm just going to pull that straight in. I'm going to start off with some olive oil. Okay, I ended up switching to tongs because it was a lot easier to toss around. Okay, um, but now I'm going to be using this spicy Mexican seasoning. It kind of smells like a, like a taco mix or something. But um, hopefully it's not too spicy because it's not really the best with spice. But, oh well. Okay. And then just to make it a little extra spicy, and <laughs> not a really good idea on my end, but I'm gonna put some chili powder on it. Okay. That was probably a little bit too much, but oh well. <laughs> and I thought that maybe I should add a bit of salt to this one. With the last chips, like I said, they were a little bit bland, so I thought that maybe if I added a bit of salt, it might be a little bit less bland. <laughs> Okay, just gonna toss that all around again. Okay, now in the air fryer for another 12 to 15 minutes. Going to give this pasta a bit of a toss. It's looking pretty crispy at the moment. Mm. Okay. So, like I did last time, while that's still frying, I'm gonna start cooking my next pasta, which is the tubes. Looks like it's pretty crispy now. Here, oh, hot, hot. 
I'll get the other ones out later. There we go. That looks really nice actually. Again, very hot, so just gonna quickly let it cool down before I try it. Okay, I think they've cooled down now, um, so I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's not too spicy. but I might have potentially just gotten a piece that's not very coated. I might try this one because that looks really um, toasted, but I want to try it with some of the salsa dip. Mmm, that's nice. It tastes really good with the dip. A bit spicy, but I can handle it. So far, my favorite one. I mean, I've only done two, <laughs> but this is really nice. I like it. Okay, let's try another pasta then. Okay, next pasta is all cooked. So now it's time to do the seasoning. This is very hot. Um, so like, uh, I'm gonna be doing a salt and vinegar one. I thought that would be really interesting to try. I'm not sure how it's gonna work though. I don't know if olive oil and vinegar really work together and if that will like stick to the pasta, but anyway, we're gonna try it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pour a bit of vinegar on it. I'm gonna do a pretty nice amount. Okay, and now I just think I'm gonna toss that around. really smell that vinegar but I think hopefully it's um, coated enough. Um, I'm not going to do as much olive oil because um, obviously I don't want it to overpower or anything but I still feel like I need a little bit just so um, the salt will actually like stick. Go, let's toss that around again. Okay and now we're going to add a fair amount of salt. <laughs> Okay, and into the air fryer. I still have a couple of minutes to go. Um, so I'm going to cook my very last pasta, which is my gluten-free option, the spiral pasta. Hopefully it turns out good. Okay, so these ones are done. They don't seem to have browned up as much as the previous chips did. Maybe it has something to do with like less olive oil and more vinegar and stuff, but oh well. I'm excited to try them. Okay. Just gonna let that cool down a bit. Okay, hopefully they've cooled down enough, um, but let's try one. I think I wanna try one that's a little bit crispier. Salty, but not very vinegary. I think when, as soon as I poured it in, all the vinegar, kind of, vinegar sort of went to the bottom of the air fryer. Well, wait. And it tasted a little bit, but it's not very strong. It's more salty, maybe. Try a different one, see if it's any different. Mm, no. <laughs> that one's actually a little bit chewy. It's just more like a plain salt one. I can't really taste any vinegar. Like maybe a hint but not too much, so a little bit of a fail this one, but they're still nice, I guess, for the salt, but not exactly salt and vinegar. Have to try and work it a way that I can sort of make it, the vinegar stand out a bit more. Oh well. Anyway, on to the very last pasta. Okay, got my gluten-free pasta here. Really interested to see how this one will taste. Um, 
I've never really had gluten-free pasta before, but I want to try and repli replicate a bit of like a barbecue flavored chip here. So I have some barbecue seasoning, um, some salt, and the olive oil. Okay, obviously I'm going to start off with my olive oil. Okay, I'm just going to put some of this uh, barbecue spice on it. it smells nice, actually. Ooh, that's a lot. I want to put a lot on there. I want to try and see if it turns out better if I put like a lot of seasoning on it because I know I've been complaining that some of them taste very bland. So maybe I need to add a bit more seasoning to them. But anyway, I'm just going to add a bit of salt now. Maybe a little bit more salt. Again, just going to mix that around. I'll probably add a little bit more spice to it. Okay, hopefully that's enough seasoning, but now time to put it in the air fryer. Okay, they look pretty crispy. Ooh, they also look very hot, so Again, just gonna let them cool down for a bit. Okay, hopefully they've cooled down. Um, so very excited to try them. These are also the gluten-free ones, so I wonder if that will make a difference. Probably won't, because I put so much seasoning on it, but let's try it. Mm, a bit hot. Mm. Well, it's a nice flavor. Um, definitely put quite a lot in it. It definitely taste the salt as well. Um, I don't think it makes any difference because it's gluten-free. I mean, I don't really have much to compare it to, I guess, um, but... Mm. it's nice, actually. I want to try it um, with this capsicum dip that I got as well. See if it makes any difference. Mm. Tastes nice with that, too. Actually, all right by itself. Probably one of the most interesting flavors that I've done. Maybe helped there put a lot of the seasoning on it, but I like that one. Mm. Love that. Okay, we have a very special guest star with us today. We've got James here, my brother, um, and he is going to be another taste tester for these pasta chips. Um, so James, we have barbecue flavor here, salt and vinegar, pizza, and spicy Mexican. And we also got salsa and capsicum dip. So which one would you like to try? All of them. All of them? <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Well, he'll try the um, barbecue first. Mm. Flavor? Pretty good. No, those are gluten free actually. Pretty good. Do you like salt and vinegar? I don't know. Okay, well then try it. <laughs> Might want to get one like that because it's very good. You don't want to just eat it. <laughs> They're very good as well. Yeah. Can you taste any vinegar or is it more salty? More salt. Yeah, that's what we thought too. Okay, um, pizza? <laughs> what do you think of that one? Um, very cheap. Yeah, some of, I noticed that some of them kind of browned a little bit more than the others. We have to put a bit of bocconcini in this one. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah. It's not the best one. Oh, okay. And then lastly, a spicy Mexican. You can dip it in the salsa if you want. Can I try my one? Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> spicy at all? Tiny bit. A tiny bit? Wait. Oh. <laughs> Heavy. <is. laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, we're <laughs> getting flashbacks to that one chocolate fountain video oh, we had to eat the chili. <laughs> okay. Um, is it things? spicy as well? The salsa? No, not really. <laughs> I feel like it's more interesting with the salsa dip, this one. Well, thank you James so much for coming and testing these pasta chips. I had so much fun making them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very interesting. I can't believe pasta can be turned into something so um, crispy. Uh, but anyway, don't, um, don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now. I think I'll be here snacking on these for a while.